tonight is the road to reopening the economy in the tri-state area. As we know, everybody isn't playing by the same rules, and everybody sure isn't agreeing with the rules that are in place. We've got reports from Action News reporters Annie McCormick in Belmar, Chad Perdelli in Ardmore, and Trish Hartman in Sea Isle City. Annie, let's start with you. What happened at the gym this morning, which opened against the governor's orders? Well, Jim, I can tell you that the gym is still open even after receiving a summons. This isn't just an issue in New Jersey. It's in Pennsylvania, too. Do these small owned gyms go by playing by the rules and decide to stay closed and possibly have to go out of business? Or do they defy the order and open up and face the consequences? Attila's gym in Belmar, New Jersey, opened this morning to a crowd of supporters. Law enforcement issued the owner a summons and clientele received warnings for defying New Jersey's order. The owners put their own safety measures in place. We're here being civilly disobedient, being peaceful, operating a business as we should be able to. Governor Phil Murphy addressed the controversy and potential repercussions today. If you show up at that gym again tomorrow, uh, there's going to be a different uh, reality than showing today. I mean, that's just, we, we've got to, we can't just, these aren't just words. We've got to enforce this, but I also don't want to start World War III. In Pennsylvania, Power Build Gym in Conshohocken also opened in defiance of Pennsylvania's order. Owner Colin Whitney is following CDC guidelines. Members are thrilled. Look at Home Depot. Home Depot is full of people, hundreds of people at one time. I don't see why a gym um, can't be open. The risk for us right now is if we don't open it, the gym's going to be gone anyway. The Pennsylvania Department of Health would send a letter to a gym in violation first. Then the state would further investigate. But according to a Department of Health spokesperson, quote, unless there are major significant concerns or a blatant disregard, the goal is for actions to be informative and educational, not punitive. Tommy Knight, who owns a gym in East Falls, is playing by the rules and is still closed. He fears he will lose his business if he doesn't open within 30 days. Fitness is essential. Um, I think that a strong immune system can definitely help fight off this virus. Um, and also from the small business standpoint, you know, I feel like we're not getting the help that we need. And this gym in Belmar is open tonight until 8 o'clock. Tonight they will be open again tomorrow morning. We're live in Belmar.